What's up everybody, I'm Logan from sleepopolis.com and today I'm going to be comparing all of the models in Casper's mattress line. I'm gonna be talking about the original Casper, the Casper Essential, the Casper Wave, the Casper Hybrid, and the Wave Hybrid. I'm gonna to touch briefly on each of them and give you some similarities, some differences, and which one I think would be best for your bedroom. Now, if you're looking for the full reviews of any of these mattresses, you can just Google Casper Mattress Review and Sleepopolis to see my full listing there. But for right now, let's jump into the comparison. Now, first things first, I wanna point out that all Casper mattresses come with a 100 night trial period, so you can have them in your home for just over three months, deciding whether or not it's the right mattress for you. Now, they also all come with a 10 year warranty. Now, you wanna check out exactly what that covers on the site, but I would say that 10 years is kind of the standard for the online bed in a box market. All Casper mattresses ship for free and they all arrive compressed in a box. So when you open them up, you're gonna to wanna to let them decompress for a few hours or even overnight so you get the full feel and support of the mattress. And I also wanna point out that if you're buying a Casper mattress that's not the Casper Essential, you can use the code SLEEPOPOLIS to save on your purchase. Now to start out, I wanna talk about the materials used in the flagship Casper mattress. This is an all foam bend to box mattress. The cover is a polyester knit, so it's got a nice kind of coziness to it. But other than that, there's nothing really to write home about. Now in terms of the layers of foam, the top layer is an open celled poly foam, so it has kind of a medium firmness, a quick response to pressure. And the open cell helps it sleep a little bit cooler because it's a little bit more breathable, which is important because the next layer down is a memory foam layer. Now memory foam is known for for its pressure relieving benefits, but some people can complain that you feel a little bit stuck in the mattress, it can trap a little bit of body heat, so they place it below that poly foam layer to defend against kind of that stuck feeling and also that heat trap. Now below that is where the transition layer of poly foam comes in, and this is a really interesting part of a lot of Casper mattresses because it is a zoned support layer, which means it's a little bit softer at the shoulders, so you're able to sink in a little bit, get a little bit of pressure there so you don't kind of get all jammed up at the shoulders there, and then there's more support at the hips to keep them from sinking in, so you get nice side sleeping spinal alignment. Now the base of the mattress is a high density poly foam. It's a really firm material and it's really common in a lot of bend to box mattresses and you'll see it in a few other Casper mattresses as well. So now that we've seen what makes up the Casper mattress, I wanna talk about what it feels like to actually lie in bed. So in my opinion, it has a medium firmness of like a six and a half out of 10. So that's that nice mixture of support and pressure relief give you a nice feel in multiple positions. You're gonna feel that you're sinking in a little bit on your back, maybe a little bit of contouring from those softer foams on top, the poly foam and the memory foam, but I think you're able to move around pretty easily. You know, it doesn't have the bounce of a pocketed coil like hybrid mattress because it is all foam. But there's good mobility on the Casper, so you shouldn't feel too stuck in the mattress. Now again, it has that zone support system, so I think it's a really big benefit for these side sleepers out there, especially kind of combo sleepers that roll onto your side for a little bit of the night, so you can sink a little bit further in at the shoulders to avoid kind of pressure points forming in that location and still get that nice side sleeping spinal alignment rolling onto your stomach. I think it's okay if you're a combo sleeper and you're gonna spend a little bit of the night on your stomach, but if you are a bit heavier or really strict stomach sleeper, you're probably gonna to to look for a little bit firmer mattress. Now in terms of who I would recommend the Casper to, I would say combo sleepers out there are really gonna like it because of its medium firmness. So you're gonna get that nice mixture of support and pressure relief in multiple positions. I would also say it's got that balanced foam feel you might be looking for. So a little bit of sinkage for pressure relief with some nice support underneath it. Now in terms of cons, I would say if you're looking for a mattress with a bit of bounce, the all foam version of this mattress doesn't have the same kind of spring you might be looking for. So you might wanna to lean towards the Casper hybrid, which we'll touch on in a little bit. Now in terms of price, it ranges from $695 up to $1,495 for the king size version of the mattress, but you can use the code SLEEPOPOLIS to save $100 on your purchase. Next, let's talk about the Casper Essential, which is their less expensive, more value option in their mattress line. The cover is a durable knit cover. Underneath that, we have a, a poly foam comfort layer over a memory foam kind of contouring layer. So a similar build on the top two layers to the original Casper. The difference comes in that there's no transition layer on the Casper Essential. It moves right from the memory foam to that firmer high density poly foam base. Now in terms of what the Essential feels like, in my opinion, the lack of the transition layer makes it a much firmer mattress. I give it like a seven and a half out of 10 on the firmness scale. Now basically that means you're gonna feel more on top of the mattress and when you're lying on your back, your back's gonna be in good alignment. Now that's pretty nice for a lot of back sleepers out there, but when you're rolling onto your side, you're gonna to wanna to be a bit more careful. Side sleepers tend to need softer mattresses because you can sink in, you won't feel as jammed up at the shoulders. I felt like I was a little jammed up here, might have some pressure points forming at the shoulders or the hips, 
two primaries for a lot of side sleepers. So if you are a side sleeper, you're probably going to want to look at you know one of the other Caspers with these zone support systems. Those are really nice advantages for the side sleepers out there. However, I would say that the firmer feel of the Essential is a big bonus for stomach sleepers. Stomach sleepers tend to need really firm support to keep their hips from sinking in the mattress and keep their spinal line in a good position. So the firmer feel of the Essential, I think, is a big bonus for the back and stomach sleepers out there. Now, in terms of recommendations for the Casper Essential, I would say it's a great choice if you're looking for a nice value option in the mattress market. It is less expensive, but they still use really quality materials at Casper, so it's gonna be built to last while costing you a bit less money. I would also say it's a good choice for the back and stomach sleepers out there because of that firm support, keeping your hips from sinking into the mattress and keeping your spine aligned in a good position. Now the flip side of that is that I don't think it's a good choice for these side sleepers out there as you might feel a little bit jammed up at the shoulders. So you're gonna wanna look for something more with the zone support of like the original Casper, or the Casper Hybrid, something along those lines. Now in terms of price, it ranges from $450 up to $995 for the king size version. Next up, we have the Casper Wave, which is kind of their luxury all foam bend a box mattress. Now, in terms of the materials used, there's a wool blend cover that has this thick, cozy sweater feeling to it. And below that, there is a really hyper soft layer of polyfoam you're gonna sink right into. And then the construction looks a little bit like the original Casper with a layer of a latex foam to give you some bounce and cooling over a layer of memory foam for a bit of contouring pressure relief. We've talked about that with the original Casper, how it protects again, the latex layer kind of protects against the uh, heat trap and stuck feeling from the memory foam layer. Then underneath that memory foam, we have another zoned polyfoam layer in the Casper Wave. It's a little bit different than how they do it in the original Casper. This, this layer has kind of scoops out of it at the shoulders that allow you to sink in. It's also at the feet, so if you want to rotate the bed around, that's a nice advantage there. And then at the hips, in those scoops, they've filled in with a polymer to give you a little bit of firm support there. So again, get that side sleeping spine alignment. I think it's a really good uh, benefit for the side sleepers and combo sleepers out there. And then below that, we have a high density polyfoam base. Again, really uh, common material used in a lot of bend -to box mattresses. Now in terms of feel, I find that the Casper Wave is the softest of their all foam versions, in my opinion, coming in at like that five and a half to six out of 10 range. Now when I'm lying on my back, I already feel myself sinking in a little bit, which is okay for a lot of back sleepers if you like that kind of contouring feeling. I think it's a really great mattress for the side sleepers as you get this really plush feel to it. Remember, it's their luxury version of the mattress, so you're getting this really plush kind of soft feel that's great for the side sleepers, especially with that support at the hips to help them keep from sinking in, keep your spinal line in a good position. However, because it is a softer mattress, I don't think that the Wave is a good choice for the stomach sleepers out there. Now, in terms of who I'd recommend the Casper Wave to, I would say it's a great choice for the strict side sleepers out there. It has that softer feel, and that zone support is really nice for side sleeping spinal alignment. I would also say it's a good choice if you're looking for more of a luxury option. It is a little bit more expensive than the other all foam Casper mattresses. And one thing I would warn about with the Casper Wave is that it does lack a little bit of bounce. There is the Wave Hybrid, which we're gonna touch on in a little bit with some pocketed coils, which is gonna give you a little bit more bounce than this all foam version. Now, in terms of price, it ranges from $1,000 $1,375 up to $2,995 for the king size version. But if you use the code SLEEPOPOLIS, you're gonna save $200 on your purchase. Next, let's talk about the Casper Hybrid Mattress. Now this mattress differs from the all foam versions we've just talked about in that hybrid means it's a mixture of foam and coil layers. Now, those layers are pretty similar to the flagship Casper mattress. It's got a very similar cover. It's got the open celled comfort layer. It's got the memory foam below that. And then finally, the zoned polyfoam transition layer below that. The difference comes in the support layer of the mattress, which on the original Casper is high density polyfoam and the Casper Hybrid is a pocketed coil support layer, so it's gonna give you a similar support level with a bit more bounce. Now in terms of what it feels like to actually lie in the Casper Hybrid, I think it's got a pretty similar support level with a, like a six out of 10 firmness. Remember that original Casper is like a six and a half out of 10, so they're pretty close in terms of uh, feel. Now when you're lying on your back, you do feel like you're sinking in just a little bit. It is just a little bit softer than the original Casper in my opinion, but you still have some nice support at the hips. I think back sleepers are gonna be okay on the Casper Hybrid. Rolling around is really easy because you do have that quick responsive pressure from the uh, polyfoam comfort layer as well as that really nice bounce from the pocketed coil support layer. When you're rolling on your side, it's got that nice kind of softer feel to it, a little bit in that medium range, so you're getting that nice zone support from the transition layer, so it's gonna keep your hips from sinking in while allowing your shoulders to sink into the mattress so you get that side sleeping spinal alignment. So backside combo sleepers are gonna be able to feel comfortable in multiple positions. 
rolling onto your stomach. Again, I think if you're a combo sleeper, you roll on your stomach for a little bit of the night, you're gonna be okay with this support level. But if you are a really strict stomach sleeper, you might feel your hips sink into the mattress. And also if you are a bit heavier, you might find that you're looking for something with a little bit more support. Now I really like the Casper Hybrid and I would recommend it to everyone that's a combo sleeper out there. It's got that nice medium firmness so you'll be able to sleep in multiple positions with a nice mixture of support and pressure relief. And it's got good balance so you won't feel stuck as you're changing those positions. I would also recommend it to the couples out there. I was pretty impressed with the ability of the Casper Hybrid to isolate motion transfers. So if you have someone that kind of rolls around changes positions on the other side of the mattress, you shouldn't feel it too much on your side of the bed. And I do wanna warn that I don't think it's the best choice for some sleepers as I did feel my hips kind of start to sink into the mattress a little bit. Now in terms of price, it ranges from $850 to $1,895 if you're paying full price. But if you use the code SLEEPOPOLIS, you can save $100 on your purchase. Last but certainly not least is Casper's Wave Hybrid Mattress. Now similar to the Casper Hybrid and the original Casper mattress, how they use similar covers, the Wave and Wave Hybrid use almost identical covers. They also use really similar foams in terms of that super soft uh, comfort foam, the latex foam below that, the memory foam below that, and then finally the uh, zoned poly foam, even the gel support in the uh, zoned layer is there in the Wave Hybrid mattress. The difference is in the base of the mattress, which in the original Casper Wave uses that high density poly foam that's really common in a lot of all foam mattresses. The Wave Hybrid uses a pocketed coil system to give you a little bit more bounce. Now in terms of feel, like the Casper Wave, the Wave Hybrid is a really soft mattress. Even on my back, I could already feel myself sinking into the mattress. You know, the pocketed coils do give you a little bit more mobility, a little bit more bounce to the mattress, but I would say you're definitely gonna feel more in the Wave Hybrid than on top of it. Because of that, I think it's a really great option for the side sleepers out there. Uh, you know, just like the Wave, you're gonna have that zone support, so you're gonna sink in more at the shoulders, a little bit more support at the hips, but you are going to sink in all over. So because of that softer feel, I would say, again, it's not the greatest choice for the stomach sleepers out there. Now in terms of who I'd recommend the Wave Hybrid to, definitely the side sleepers I think are going to appreciate this softer plush feel of the Wave Hybrid. I'd also recommend it to the couples out there because I was pretty impressed with how the softer foams kind of dulled that motion transfer. And something I didn't mention in the construction is that there is edge support foam around the entirety of the support layer. So you're gonna be able to sleep all the way to the ends of the bed without kind of collapsing it. it. Makes the bed feel a little bit bigger, which is a huge plus for the couples out there. One thing I would warn about, again, is that lack of firm support. So if you're a bit heavier, you need some firmer support. I don't think this is really gonna give that to you. Same with stomach sleepers out there. You're gonna to wanna to watch out for that because your hips will sink into the mattress. Now in terms of price, the Wave Hybrid ranges from $1,545 up to $3,495. But again, if you use the code SLEEPOPOLIS, you can save $200 at checkout. So that's it for my comparison of the Casper mattresses. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now again, if you're looking for the full reviews of any of these mattresses, just Google Casper Mattress Review and Sleepopolis to see all of the listings come up there. Now follow us on Facebook and Twitter so you don't miss any of our sleep news or our giveaway announcements. And be sure to check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.